What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back. It's been a long time, but we're going to jump into this Copart walk around today with number one on my list. Who remembers the old FedEx delivery vehicle that I picked up from here for dirt cheap with the Cummins that turned out to be a run and drive? Said it didn't run, but it ran and drove. We drove it out of here and we used it, drove it all over the place. The video, I think, has gotten close to half a million views. Well, we're at it again. I found another one. This is, I think, a 2013 or 2014 Ford E450 big old FedEx delivery truck. This one is gas, 145,000 miles, listed as a run and drive. It's got some damage if you didn't see it already. I'll be sure to walk you back over to it and I'll show it to you, but you should have already seen it. This thing sits low to the ground. I love how low this back is. This would be a great moving vehicle if it had a ramp, unfortunately it doesn't, but if it had a ramp, this would be an excellent vehicle for moving. Let's take a look, it's got some damage all over it. There's a little bit down here, but honestly, not that big of a deal. There's a little bit more along the edges down here as well. Again, not a huge deal. Somebody drove it up over this. Hopefully they drove it. I hope it still has its drive shaft and everything. It's a flexible fuel vehicle. And it looks like they probably retired it because of this. They, uh, th this hurt. This hurt pretty bad. Look at the gap there. And also right there. It looks like they drove, they high centered it over something and just poof, took it out, man. I don't know what the back looks like. Let's take a look at that real quick. And then we'll get into, uh, to will it run. We'll just go in through the side door over here just because I'm, I'm wanting to give myself extra work. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, since I like extra work, I guess we're going through here. There should be a divider in here, I think. Oh, yeah, there is. Let's see what this floor looks like. Because that's the corner it got hit in. It looks okay. I don't see any problems down there. The floor in here actually looks pretty good. It's got all the shelves. This is not bad, not bad at all. A little bit of a soft spot right there. Look at that. Yeah, overall though, not bad. Let's put the key in it. Let's see what it does. Okay, well, let me, uh, oh. Good Lord, that seat is worn out. <laughs> There's nothing left of it. There's nothing left of this seat. It is, it's worn completely out. All right. Oh, it's got juice. Okay. open this door it's very sticky in here too Ugh, gross air conditioning a FedEx vehicle with air conditioning how cool is that assuming it works you got a backup cam there I guess a big one looks like a dash cam right here as well of course, the screen, the screen is broken. It doesn't work, but. And the air conditioning, if it does work, it doesn't blow out the proper, <laughs> proper spot there. It's coming out the defroster. It does work though. It is ice cold. It is, let's pop the hood. Give her a little rev. Okay. Does it have gears? Yeah. Okay. Let's put that e-brake back on just for just for a little added safety. The door doesn't like to close because of that uh, that big old dent right there 
This thing is sitting at $125 right now, guys. 125 bucks. I don't know what I would ever do with <laughs> I have no use for this. I really don't. It's got a new battery, a motor crap battery at that. These things are always well maintained. Let's see what the trans fluid looks like. I think that would be my biggest concern on something like this. Well, it looks good. Hell, it looks so good, it almost doesn't look like there's anything on there. Yeah, okay. It's a gamble, but honestly, they're not gonna let it go for $125. You know, that's not gonna happen. You can get that out of your head. There's no way they'd let it go for 125 bucks. What do you guys think? I would probably do nothing more than buy it, attempt to drive it home, and then I'd probably get bored with it. I'd put it up for sale. Um, this is one of those vehicles, it's, it's not an easy sell. I think it could work though. I love it, I love it. Probably would have to take those FedEx logos off. I would think driving around like impersonating another company could be highly illegal. I wonder how difficult it is to get these uh, to get these letters off. I'll bet it's a bear. <laughs> I'll bet it's a bear to get those off. You got to get all that stuff off too. I don't know. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the FedEx van. Next on my list. That's right. Another one. This is a 2005 Ford F550 tow truck. It's got the flatbed, tilt bed, winch. It's got it all. And I think the price is pretty good at $22,000. I don't know what the miles are on it, but it actually looks pretty good. It's got a light bar up front, some tinted headlights, why I don't know, Rhino line bumper and fender flares. Tires look decent so far. A little bit of body damage here. 187, 264 miles. Let's come over here. We've got the big old diesel tank there. And here is your aluminum flatbed and your winch. What do we got over here? Air hose or something? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Just a random big old thing of hose. That's a Ramsey winch. Don't know if it works. Good tires back here. I wonder why this thing is here. I have to clean that up and learn how to, how to work this thing. I have no idea how this thing would even work. But a tow truck would be nice. Something really big like this. You could fit just about anything on it. It's big. It's heavy duty. Look at this. Isn't this what you uh, you push out and grab the wheels and you can lift it up? So technically, if I'm right, you could have a big old car or a truck on the back. And then you could haul another car locked in back here on this as well. I think. That's insane. That's insane. And I'm not BSing you. I'm seriously considering picking this up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and bid on it. There's all there's all the levers and how they're supposed to work. I, I'm going to, I'm, I think I'm going to bid on it. I do, I think. And we're going to try to start it up, but uh, I'm going to try not to have to pay uh, $22,000 for it. I don't know, maybe they'll take less, so it doesn't hurt to throw a bid on the old girl. There are the pieces right there that, would you, that you would use to grab a car by the back or the front wheels. Right there. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is. There's pins I'm sure that are missing, but that stuff should be easy, relatively easy to find. I wonder what's on the other side. This thing looks to be in really, really, really good shape. Uh, again, I don't know why the hell it's here, but yeah, I would do this all day. I would do this all day. Uh, don't tell anybody. I might actually be willing to pay the $22,000 for it. What is this? Master something on off boston mass pollock pollock okay don't know what that is either what is this the horn she's dead as a door now we got switches it's got lots of accessory switches that's always nice uh batteries totally dead you can tell she ain't doing nothing she ain't having it all kinds of auxiliary lights I'm sure some of these work the uh, the flashing lights up top, which just makes it extra cool. This is what you take on Power Tour. <laughs> Ask me why. This is, this is what you take on Power Tour so that you can save people on the side of the road. 
You know, you got your you got your flashing lights and you got your rollback. I'm telling you, there'd be money to be made. <laughs> or would be. Okay. Low miles for a diesel, man. Honestly, 187,000 miles is nothing. The wiring is awful, honestly. The wiring is, is absolutely, it's really bad. You got cut wire, you got wires just ever, butt connectors exposed. This is, this is not good. This is not good. I used to do uh, radio install for the Oklahoma Highway Patrol and uh, Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. And uh, I, I know about wiring, <laughs> okay? I know about installing two-way radios and lights and everything. And, and you don't do it this way. There's not even a grommet in there. And there's a giant hole in the firewall down there. I don't think you can see it, but giant hole, no grommet. That's not how you do things. Let me go grab a jump pack and let's see if we can get this thing running. Well, things are making noise. That one booster pack should be able to crank this up, but I've said that before and it hasn't worked, but I'm pretty sure it will. Let's go ahead and make sure all this is off. There it is. There it is. All right. She's idled up pretty high. Yep. Come back here. That's got to stay here. Just like the other one, no air conditioning blowing out of the vents here. It's blowing out way up there. And I don't think it works. E brake. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe the air conditioning works at all, which that's a big downer. All right, well, let's see. See if we got any flashing lights going on up here. We do not. Literally nothing. It's doing nothing at all. Okay, we'll go ahead and shut that off. Let's turn that off, see if that does anything. Nope. Still no flashing lights. If the flashing lights don't work, I don't want it. That's that's all there is to it. If I can't get flashing lights, I don't want the dad gum thing. I want to see them lights flash. No, they don't do anything. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Power steering works. Brakes work. Reverse. It goes into gear just fine. The important window works. She sounds good. She does. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna play with the winch as much as I want to. I really, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to play with this. See if I can get the bed to work and everything. I don't know. I mean, we could just push the button just a little bit to see if it does anything, right? I mean, what's, what does it say? Bed travel. Oh. Okay, well. Oh wow, look at all the wires cut under here, guys. Joy. And I don't know about you, but that looks bent to hell and back, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, this is why you gotta come look at stuff yourself, guys. You gotta come out here and look at stuff yourself. This doesn't do nothing. None of this seems to work. Of course, I don't know how to use it, so I could be doing it totally wrong. Hopefully, one of you out there is a tow truck driver or used to be a tow truck driver, and maybe you can uh, give me some pointers. Go ahead and shut it off. Well, I was going to shut it off. There we go. And yeah, maybe you can give me some pointers. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to turn that lever that's on the floor there. That'd be my guess. That'd be my guess. But... Since I don't know anything about it, truthfully, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be playing with it. Look at that though, completely dead. And the little NOCO GB150 
brought this sucker back to life. No issue. I told you most of the time it will. There are a few occasions where the, the little no code just can't do it. But for the most part, this little thing can jumpstart anything. Comment below, tell me what you think of the F550. And if you know how to work that bed and the winch, definitely comment below and tell me how to work it. And tell me most importantly, you think it's worth $22,000 or should we pass on it? Last on my list is a 2014 Ford Fiesta. And I know it's not an exciting car and most of you are not gonna be interested in this, but there's a reason I'm showing it. The other two were impractical. They're not things that anybody would actually buy to use daily. This fits the bill for something that most people would be able to go out and purchase with a little bit of money. Yes, it's damaged. I understand that. No, it's probably not worth repairing. I doubt there would be any profit left because of the way the car market is today. Cars are going for way too high at the auction. Then you tack on all the repairs and you're not left with much of anything but breadcrumbs left on the table as far as a profit margin is concerned. Even if you do the job yourself, it's getting harder and harder to make a profit on vehicles. So this would be a great candidate for a vehicle that somebody needs to daily drive at a reasonable price. You could get it relatively cheap. It's a small economical car and the damage honestly doesn't look that bad. Now on the, on the surface here, obviously we've got some gnarly dents and dings to the door. You could replace the door if you wanted to, sure. Even if you do though, you're going to be left with a gnarly quarter panel that's just all kinds of, of banged and beat up. There may be, I would bet money, that we've got some control arm damage down here. I would almost bet on it. Maybe it would come out with just an alignment, but I would, I would bet that you're gonna need a little bit of work back here. It's not a bad looking car overall, and if you just needed something to get from A to B, this could do it. It really could, and I think one of the things I like most about this car, it's low miles too, 114,000 miles, but aren't these known for bad transmissions? Aren't these cars notorious for having junk transmissions? This is a 2014. Well, take a look at this. It's a manual model. <laughs> yeah. Now that presents its own problems because I think 80% of Americans today don't know how to drive a manual transmission car, which is really sad, but call it a theft deterrent. Not that anybody's going to steal your, uh, your Ford Fiesta anyway, but look at that fired right up. Not an issue, not an issue. We'll turn that down. I would be willing to bet that it's got cold air conditioning. Look at this, 114,000 miles on the dash. We've got no check engine lights. We've got a low tire pressure light. Again, it's cosmetically challenged. How about that? Can we call it cosmetically challenged? That's fine. That's fine. It's got sync, Microsoft sync. You've got a line in, you've got USB. You've got a little power outlet right there. It's got some stuff in it. It smells all right. It's even got a sunroof, guys. This thing is loaded. For a Ford Fiesta, seriously, this thing is loaded, man. Important window, yes. You know, take it to an alignment shop, tell them to do their best. <laughs> tell them, straighten that back wheel out as best you can. They just dry the hell out of it, man. Just dry the hell, look at that. Look at that. I have not seen a manual transmission uh, Ford anything other than my Ford Focus ST in a long time. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Hell, I might I might bid on this myself, to be honest with you. Yes, AC is ice cold. Steering feels good. The brakes feel good. The important window works. I'm sure the radio works. Yeah. There you go. It, we got some... Tomorrow on the show, guess what? J there we go. There we go. This thing probably gets 35, 37 miles a gallon all day, every day, man. Clutch feels good. Let's pop the hood. It didn't need a jump start. This is one that even though, okay, you do have a flat tire there, so you probably need to address that. That may come up with a little bit of air. Even though I do believe we got a little bit of something going on with that back wheel there. Honest to God, I think you could drive this home. I think you could drive this home. Put a spare in the back for sure, but I think you could drive it home. 
listen to that. Even if you have to replace a control arm on the back, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, it's not the prettiest. You know, it's it's not. But that's why you're going to be looking at Copart, right? You're not wanting to pay retail prices, especially at the rate cars are going for today. So, you know, if you got a little bit less money than retail, you want to pay cash for something, this is a great option. Instead of going and dumping a bunch of extra cash at a retail lot, you get the same damn car right here. This is a little cosmetic damage. And the best part is you could fix it up as you go if you want to. You could absolutely fix this. I don't know why you would want to, but if you really wanted to, you could fix it. Should we see, the, let's see what's in the trunk? Let's pop the trunk. Uh, see, a spare tire, I told you, and it's got air. And it comes with free clothes, lots of clothes, a lot of clothes actually, crazy, okay. So there you go, there you go. I would drive it, I'm not kidding, I, I'm dead serious. I'd air up that front tire and I'd hit the ground running with that. In fact, in fact, I may go ahead and just throw a bit on this right now. I think I will, I, I like it. I don't know why, but I like it. And I think I'll throw a little bit on it. Hell, if we win it, now, nah, never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. Let's just see. Let's see. I'm gonna put a bit on it, and we'll see what happens. This is the last car, so it's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's walk around. If you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Drop those comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and do me one more favor: share the video with your friends. I truly appreciate it. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.